It's been a while since we shot anything at the house here. <laughs> Back to all the noises of the birds chirping and the neighbors and the dogs barking. I kind of miss it, right? So, controversy. Always controversy. Um, over the course of the, doing this channel, I've mentioned numerous times that as a normal practice, whenever I build an engine for myself, I reverse the pistons. I never saw this as a controversial thing. Going back, I know that Smokey Eunuch used to do it on the, on the NASCAR Hudson's back in the 1950s. I know that the Ram Chargers did it. I know that in the direct connection engine manuals, the ones that I grew up reading, it specifically states to turn the pistons around. It doesn't give you exact reasons why, but it says specifically there's a power game to be had by turning the pistons around. Larry Shepard. It, it, it's, it's, it has never been a controversial thing in my mind. It's just like, that's the thing to do. If you're building an engine and it has offset pistons, and almost all production engines have the piston pin offset on the, on the, on the piston, that it's advantageous from a performance standpoint to reverse that offset because the offset is put in there to reduce piston slap where basically the tendency for the piston to lightly rock in the bore at the top of the stroke. So that's why for production engines where silence is golden, right, um, they'll put a little bit of offset in there and it's done. So by reversing the offset, yes, you're, you're increasing the possibility of making some piston noise. But I, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I've never heard it, right? Um, I mean, it just doesn't make any noise. In, like it's one of those things in theory the piston is going to slap around and make all kinds of racket. It doesn't. But that's besides the point. Controversy. So, again, I myself never thought of it as being anything out of the ordinary. It was just a normal matter of course. And let's see, I've got his, his one, two, three, four, five. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here right now looking at five engines that I've built, right, because I'm standing here in the home garage. And each of these cars run, and each of them have pistons turned around, and none of them have the slightest bit of trouble, and none of them are down on horsepower at all. So, recently, some TV guys decided to, like, call me out on this principle. Uh, they seemed to think that it was an archaic or, or a silly thing to do. They also called me out knowing, really, I have no way. I don't have a dyno facility. I don't have any way to accurately test these things. So it was kind of like it was a, a hollow kind of call out. But we have some of the most intelligent and dedicated and articulate viewers in all of YouTube. You know, and I love you guys for this. And one of them, his name is Tom Muse. And Tom went... God bless this guy. Tom went and actually made a video addressing this and addressing the situation with a whiteboard and everything that shows the exact reasons, things that I could not articulate. I mean, this guy is super advanced, okay? He made a video that explains the whole range of hows and whys concerning piston pin offset. If you're even the slightest bit interested in this, if you're the slightest bit interested in internal engine dynamics, you need to watch this video. It's fantastic. So um, we're going to put a link to it. Where, where do we put a link to it? Here. Okay, we're going to put a link to it right there, right? Go there, watch this thing. Give this guy a sub. Give this guy a like. You know, pat, pat him on the back in the comments. Thank you, Tom. That was absolutely awesome. So i got to get back to the shop and, and, and get back to work on our project cars. But I just wanted to, i, I, I got to turn you guys on to this. It's, it's amazing. Thank you, Tom. I'll see you guys tomorrow.